We are ready now to listen to the words of the Holy Gospel, the good news of Jesus for us. Please stand and join me in the Gospel acclamation. church 
Many grains together make bread, and many people together make church. Wine is a festive drink in society, but again, like bread, it is not made from one grape or even a bunch of grapes. Many grapes are crushed to make wine. Like the church, many people come together to make church. During the consecration of the bread and wine, the priest, with the Holy Spirit, transforms the bread and the wine into the body and blood of Jesus Christ. The bread and wine are no longer symbols of the Eucharist, but they are the Eucharist. They have been transformed into the body and blood of Jesus. And it is important to note that the bread is transformed into the body and blood of Jesus, as well as the wine being transformed into both the body and blood of Jesus. Knowing that the bread and wine have been transformed into the body and blood of Jesus, I would like to talk about the guidelines of receiving the Eucharist. Why review something we do every week? We might say, but over the many years, many things change. We become relaxed, or maybe even less reverent. A few years ago, Pope Benedict said this about the rule he put into place on all papal festivities at the cathedral and in the square of Rome. I have both administered and received communion in the hand by myself. The idea behind my current practice of having to kneel and receive communion on the tongue was to send a signal to underscore the real presence with an explanation point. One important reason is that there is a great danger of superficiality precisely in the kind of services we do here at St. Peter's, both in the Basilica and the Square. I have heard of people who, after receiving communion, stick the host in their wallet to take it home as a kind of souvenir. In this content, I wanted it to be clear Something quite special is going on here. He is here, the one whom we fall on our knees before. Pay attention. This is not just some ritual in which we can take part if we want to. This is a special day. Corpus Christi Sunday is a great day to focus ourselves on the reverence and the gift of Jesus has left us. Remember Jesus said, take this and eat of it. This is my body. He then took the cup and said, Take this and drink of it, for this is my blood. Jesus is not a symbol in the bread and wine. He is present in the bread and wine after consecration. So when you come to communion, you come to the Lord. First, we should realize that you are not in line to receive, but you are in a procession. When you are at the next person to receive, you should do a slight bow in reverence to the body and blood of Jesus. When receiving the host, we should put one hand over the other to make a throne that befits a king. That process also helps the minister know where to place the host. When people put their hands together, but not on top of the other, the minister does not know what hand you prefer to use. If you are receiving on the tongue, you should come to the priest, deacon, or extraordinary minister and extend your tongue. When you hear the body of Christ, you should reply, Amen, meaning yes. And yes, I accept Jesus as being part of my life and me. And yes, Jesus, I accept being part of the church community. When receiving in your hand, you should remember you are receiving the Eucharist, not taking it. It should be laid in the throne you created. When you receive the blood, say amen and take the cup. Here at St. Michael's, the Eucharist is brought around the outer perimeter of the church for people who may have difficulty getting to the altar. Please remember, as those that came up return to their seats, that the minister is carrying the Lord Jesus Christ. To the people. Please respect the person and the Lord by properly waiting to return to your aisle or return another way. No one should be in such a rush to exit the church when the body and blood of Christ, as well as the minister, need to be pushed aside. 
Reverence, reverence, reverence. The disposition of John is, it is the Lord. That's what our faith demands. It is the Lord that we are worshiping. It is the Lord that we are receiving into ourselves. It is the Lord who is giving us the Eucharist in a special way to participate in divine life. It is the Lord who is sanctifying us. That should be the overwhelming disposition with which we approach Holy Communion. It is the Lord. 